peace it's Natia Sissia and I want to talk about the joys of non-judgmentalism because being non-judgmental is something that I don't think a lot of people are or a lot of people have become judgmental they have learned to become judgmental and for many people it's hard for them to find their way out of always casting judgment and always finding fault with people and always feeling as though somebody else is lesser than them or that they are better than others and you know they find themselves in a cycle where they have to constantly daily be validating themselves you know and diminishing other people's worth and other people's value other people's presence other people's gifts talents and abilities now, when you're non-judgmental, your life and your paradigm, your consciousness, everything is just so much different. It's really better because you're not holding on to anything. You're not holding on to what happened to you yesterday. You're not holding on to what might happen to you in the past. You know, you're not holding on. It's, you don't hold grudges. A lot of grudges... A lot of judgment, judgment comes with, or judgmentalism comes with judge, judge um, grudges, and um, you know because you're gonna you, you you feel hurt, you feel like this person shouldn't have did this to you, you feel like this person did something wrong to me, and you feel like this person owes you something. You feel like you know they should be punished by whatever you know by you by whatever God you believe in, by whatever laws you believe in, you know, even whether that's the laws of nature, you know, when you're judgmental, you are condemning all day. You are looking for things to condemn. And, you know, this whole idea of judging has come to us from religion because I know from my own experience that I was... I can't recall being judgmental until I decided to take on religions, you know, until I decided to explore these religions that I, I felt were beneficial. I felt at the time that, you know, that they were helping to make me into a better person. But I ended up casting judgment in my mind, you know, and there are people who do this all day, day in and day out, where they're not just doing it in their mind, they're vocalizing their judgments, they're execute, executing their judgments, um, they're harming people, hurting people, they're, um, you know, uh, in some cases killing people, in some cases just really ruining what would otherwise have been good relationships, and, you know, they're making their life miserable, making other people's life miserable, and, you know, that's, you don't want to be that person, you know, nobody wants to be a person who is judgmental. However, when you're judgmental, sometimes you can also be very self-righteous and it's hard to see your own flaws. It's hard to see how you are judgmental if you adopt this self-righteousness about yourself, because it's almost like the two go hand in hand and, you know, one blinds you from seeing that in yourself from the other so it's like the self-righteousness is going to blind you from seeing how you're judgmental and the judgmentalness is going to blind you from seeing how you are self-righteous right but they need each other so that way you know you can justify whatever it is in your mind that you believe in that is making you feel that you know you should be looking on others in this this type of manner in this type of way however you know if you could just release yourself from being so judgmental, then you would find that, you know, you go through the days a lot easier, a lot happier, less angry, less mad, um, less stressed out, less bothered by other people and what other people are doing. And, you know, you can begin to see why they people might do the things they do. You know, you begin to, to see, you know, what had you being judgmental in the first place because now you are just almost like an open vessel. And of course, um, certain religions are not going to approve of just, you know, even that, even what I just said is, you know, spooky and scary and, you know, they will condemn that and shun that. But 
you know, that's of course if you're looking at it through that perspective. But if you look at it through just being like, you know, like a stream almost, you know, you're just flowing through things. You're not being backed up or, or hemmed up um, from, you know, something that happened, you know, previously ahead in the stream, you know, and you're not worried about what's going on later down the stream or later, you know, um, in life. You are just, you kind of, you're very much going with the flow and you're finding your way through. You know, a lot of people even look at going with the flow as negative. A lot, everything that seems to be what can free us seems to have been given a very negative image or, uh, you know, connotation in our minds. So when I say you go with the flow, people think, oh, you just lose. Oh, you just, you know, let anything happen and you have no boundaries, no limitations or, you know, okay. Right. But you need some of that. You need to be somewhat free. Uh, you need to be free. You, but you, when I say somewhat free, I mean you need to uh, let go of a lot of the things that are holding you down, right? And um, it's not so much that you don't have any standards, but it's that you're rooted in a different place, you see? When you are not very judgmental, you are rooted in a deeper, um, a deeper essence, you're, you're rooted in a deeper connection to all that is going on around you. You're rooted in something that is impenetrable, like it's unshatterable because now you have broke through the veils of religion, you broke through the veils of hate, you broke through the veils of um, judge, you know, judgmentalism. You, you've broken through that veil. So now you can look out into the world through a much different um, lens, you know, and the lens that you have now is one that is clear, it's not foggy, you know, because them, those lenses that you all are wearing who are judgmental or that the people that are wearing are judgmental, you know, the lens is, is it's not clear, you know, it's foggy around the edges, you know, some of them, they're seeing themselves in the lens you know, they're judging themselves. You know, they haven't been able to forgive their own self about a lot of things. Um, and, you know, you're, you're kind of, you might be judging others in a way that is targeting them. So you might be targeting, you know, you're picking and choosy how you judge. You might be judging others who you think may have done worse than you so you can prove to yourself that you are a better person. But... If you would just take those lens off and just see that, you know, we're all here to basically live and experience and make choices and learn from these decisions. And if you actually do learn from the decision and the choice of being judgmental and see how it's really affecting your life, you might find that once you start to peel the judgmentalism away and once you start to put those lenses down and, and look out into the world, you know, with these fresh eyes, you know, that... Things are not as needing of your judgment, you know. Things are working themselves out. You will find ways to work things out. You know, you will be of a clearer mind state in order to work things out. You will, um, you will not be so, uh, you know, colluded. Your vision will not be so colluded um, with all type of you know, ramblings going on in your mind about how much somebody needs to be judged or how wrong you are or how wrong this or that person is because now you can, you know, you can kind of let things happen and you can kind of shift and mold things into being because now you have tapped in to true creation because when you, when you are, when you judge something, you are judging based on what is supposed to be. You are judging based on what somebody else has created, what somebody else has declared is supposed to be or is the way things are, right? Or what you're judging based on something that is supposedly set in stone somewhere that you don't know, you've never seen. And, you know, the more you think about it, the more, you know, things like the Bible come up, you know, because, you you know, you, you, you the way you're judging... It's based on something somebody else. It's not. It's, it's not you. You know. You you don't wake up trying to judge 
whether somebody is wearing a mini skirt or not you don't wake up trying to judge whether somebody is you know uh with the opposite sex or you know whether somebody is parenting right or you know whether um somebody should be with you or not these are all information that we have been given we have been told to act a certain way to respond a certain way uh too and even these things that are happening those people are doing those things out of their judgment a lot of times you know because they're judging that you know if i if i do this i'll attract this or if i do this i'll you know i'll turn uh this person away so they they're they're judging and they, you know everybody else is just operating in this judgment and it's not until we again release ourselves from these judgments where will these things not even be um play that much of a a factor in our lives it'll be like you know that's them they have free will you know free will has to come into play you know you can't have you really to have both to have free will and to be judgmental is um it's it's almost impossible right because the judgment is going to is going to tell you you know you can do this but you can't do that but you can't do this and if you can't do that you know we're going to do this to you if you do that and um you know you should feel self-condemned and you should can be condemned for doing it but if you have free will free will is more like a trial and error for real is more like well you know i did that but i didn't like it or you know um this person is doing something i don't like um you know but i'm you know i'm gonna operate in this way i'm not i'm not gonna necessarily go out of my way to harm that person i'm not going to overthink about it you know that person is going to have to learn on their own you know so it's like when you have judgment and you kind of can't have them both you know um but we're given we're told that you can have them both we're told that by judging other people that we have free will and indeed you have free will to judge other people however you have to again see how in your judgment of other people, your free will to judge others, you're not really creating a better place. You're creating a lot of uh, con contention, you're creating um, a lot of hate, and you're creating a lot of uh, pressure, you know, um, what you call it, uh, conformity, you know, because that's what judgment ultimately is, is, is the inability, inability to um to deal with other people's nonconformity you know the intolerance of other people's personal choices and preference so i just want to impart on people to again take into consideration where you may be judgmental and where you aren't judgmental and kind of focus on the places where you aren't judgmental just see how much more peaceful your life is when you aren't judgmental it's like you know you get to that point where i'm not even going to react to that anymore and then after you keep doing that you keep not reacting to certain things by not judging certain things you know after a while later down the road you're like man i remember when that used to bother me and i just let that go it doesn't even bother me no more right so think about those instances and then think about now again where you may be being judgmental and think about how you could apply that same strategy of just letting things go you know not reacting in a judgmental type of way and you know allow that to continuously happen and see later down the road how you feel about that and replicate this over and over every time you find yourself judging right so that's something I definitely would like for people to definitely start doing some more. And, you know, we should do it some more. We should be less judgmental. We should be more free. We should be, um, you know, have exercise our free will more, right? Otherwise, we just have a, a prison that we have for everybody we meet, you know, because ultimately somebody is going to violate one of your um, commandments, you know, whether it's your personal commandment or what you think is your personal commandment or one that somebody else has given unto you. So that's what I have to say. 
subscribe, like, and share this video. Peace.